Today we're taking a look at a 2024 Acura MDX Platinum Elite. It's the fully loaded MDX platform that you could get without going up to the A-Spec model. And today I'm going to show you everything there is to know, full tour, exterior, interior, and of course that POV drive. So let's get started. Let's start off by taking a look at the engine. We have a 3.5 liter V6 with 200 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque, which maybe makes things a little bit on the dated side because other SUVs have updated, but it still does have enough for what I think the average user would need it for. All right, let me pick the camera right up and let's take a full in-depth tour of the exterior. All right, so starting up front with the Acura MDX, we have these nice daytime running LEDs with these big old light bulbs inside of them. Nice turn signal here as well, but you don't have the cornering feature. This is an expensive vehicle and I was expecting to have it, but unfortunately we do not. Also, you get these nice little vents. I believe they are fake. Yes, they are fake indeed. Uh, you got nice little fog lights down there as well, as well as some nice diffuser stuff. I like that too. Very nice there. I feel like the overall thing with the MDX is that it's the under the radar MDX Platinum Elite. You know, it's fully loaded, got all the stuff, but it doesn't really look like it does. Whereas the Type S, you know, it's kind of in your face. It's a very sporty SUV. Even though it's a three row, it's very fast, very sporty. It's, you know, you just know what it is. It's a very sporty SUV. This is very much under the radar. So it really depends on what your style preference is here. But with that being said, let's move it over to the side profile. Got some nice big rims there with the Acura logo. The brakes are not labeled or anything like that, but they are, nah, we'll talk about it later. They're, they're effective enough, we'll say. Then we have some nice mirrors here. We have a little camera on the bottom for our 360 degree camera angle. So we like that. I like the nice white color. I wish there was like kind of two-tone a little bit. I feel like the bottom should have maybe be, been painted and maybe the top should have been black, but I do like it. I like the chrome accents too. We also have one touch lock and unlock doors. So this is a sensor. So your distance in the winter may vary on that. I'm not sure, but let's move quickly over to the back of the Acura MDX. Very nice. I like the tail lights. I feel like the Acuras really haven't changed their tail lights in two in too many years, but it's effective, so we don't really need to change it. Okay, so let's quickly move on to the back of the Acura MDX. I really like the tail lights. I don't feel like they've changed them too much over the years, but it's been effective, so you don't really need to. You got a nice brake light up here, as well as a rear wiper. It does get very dirty because it's been raining here, and it's just crazy. But we also have two exhaust pipes there. I like that they're shown. A lot of cars are not showing them anymore. I like that. We have some sensors as well. Then we have the SH all-wheel drive for it, of course, because this is, of course, the all-wheel drive version. How could you not? have that in all-wheel drive so now we have a rear camera as well and we can also pop the trunk here automatic open and close of course for the price you're expecting that these since this is a three-row vehicle these seats do fold down we have the package that you know give us gives us the mdx labeled uh you know lining here and also we have the lining on the inside too which you'll see when i take you in there so obviously these seats do fold down you just press this little latch here and then you can give the seat a push as you can see the headlight the uh not the headlight the headrest dropped right there so you can actually give that a push and it will go down and you can also see that there's like cup holders back there and now that's interesting because you can actually take that seat completely out which is awesome so you can have caps and chairs almost if you want to here in the back seat third row not too much space but uh you know if you have small kids you'll be fine but let's actually take a look at the interior we're going to start off with the back then move to the front and then that pov shot's coming all righty as usual first up is the back seat of the acura mbx big old door with these like you know blinds these shades that are very nice to come down a little bit like of an open wood trim here as well. Some ambient lighting features there, but of course it's daytime so you can't see it. Absolutely no problem getting in here. So much room here in the back. I believe these seats also can go backwards and forwards. So I can actually move it myself a little bit back here. You can see I moved back from this seat. We've got our own HVAC controls here. We have heated seats only back here, but it's fine. Not too bad. Good airflow back here. We also have, you know, a normal household kind of plug right here as well. Nice view of the big old moon roof. And we get a view too of the third row when it is folded up. Some USB storage back there as well. Some cup holders. Not too bad. But of course, uh, me being a full adult size, I absolutely don't fit back there. But no problem. I'm sure it is not that bad for the small people. So that's what matters. Great view of the front seat. But I really like the leg room back here. It feels like you know, you know, it feels like you'd expect, uh, you know, a higher end, more quality luxury SUV to feel, especially when it's a third row. So that's great news. But we also get a great view of the front end. And let's check out the front end. 
All right, step on up, step on in right into the front end of the Acura MDX. Again, same kind of thing with the door, open wood, some features there. We also have some memory seating that's kind of assigned to the key fob, but I have three of them, which is nice. Normal window controls, all that stuff. Greeted by this great steering wheel, really nice looking thing. I like the Acura badge, it's really simple. There's nothing here that I found hard to use on the steering wheel. It was easy to control this digital infotainment screen, which you can kind of change the layout of if you want. Uh, but I like, I kind of prefer the one we have now. You can go with like a more simple one if you want to. You just go and you can change the gauge layout right here. You can go into crafted mode and then it kind of looks a little bit more normal and the, the colors will also change based on the drive mode. So that's cool too, but I like the advanced one. So I keep that and just, you know, the trip info up. Um, you know, you can also control your assist settings from there as well. Not too bad. Left-hand side, I have some HUD controls for the heads-up display, the assist settings, the heated mirror settings, traction control on or off, some illumination controls, really good. Then we move right on to our infotainment display. Probably the weak spot here is that it is locked to the touchpad. I cannot use my hands and actually touch the screen. I have to use this touchpad down here. Reminds me a lot of the Lexus. I didn't like it on the Lexus. I don't like it here. The good news is though, that it does, you do get used to it. It doesn't become that hard to operate. When I first sat in here, I was like, oh my God, this thing is gonna give me nightmares all week. It didn't, thankfully, it was, it was, it's actually like easy to get used to. And you also have like a side screen that is also controlled by this touchpad, but it's not ideal and it's not great, but it is easy to use. We also have some cameras that we can have 360. We have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto is also wired, it's great. So moving on down, we got a whole bunch of buttons here for our HVAC controls, a little digital screen there. Nothing too fancy, but also very basic. Then we have this nice dynamic mode changer, which is gonna change your drive modes. You get some nice animations. I really like these little animations, that little noise it makes, which is cool. I can also put it into individual and hold the Acura button for the individual and then I can you know control what I want in that mode which is very nice so love the great layout of buttons that's good we also have some buttons for the gear selector I don't mind it it's effective it works nicely then we have this little button here that you can pull out your USB and your USB-C chargers auto hold on um, a brake hold and the auto on off start button which I usually press because it's annoying and we have this big old pad down here that's for the wireless charging a little hand rest for when you're using a, your touchpad unfortunately a little volume control would skip there for the passenger this is nice it kind of keeps the phone in place a little bit i mean the car is not the fastest thing but you don't want it moving around it's pretty good for that got a nice view of the speaker right there the passenger door it's els studio 3d I've never heard of them but the sound system is actually surprisingly good in here so it's really really good news then we move on to the seats. There's no massage feature or anything like that, but they, they are memory seats on the passenger side, which is, you don't usually see that. So I do like that. Um, and you know, it's, it's very nice, holds you very well. I like the leather material, I like the stitching. It's very comfortable. It's a, it's a, it's a easy road trip car. And, and that, that's really awesome to hear. So, or see anyways. And then overall, you know, there is a bit of gloss black and some of you won't like that. Some of you won't care. I like the open wood. I like the overall design of the car. It looks like a luxurious Honda and it, and it looks like what I would expect from an Acura. This is my first Acura. So I'm kind of, you know, it's meeting expectations. Maybe not exceeding them, but it's definitely meeting them. Let's see what it does on the road though. Let's take it for a test drive. All righty. So here we are inside the 2024 Acura MDX Platinum Elite. That is still an absolute mouthful to say but it is like i said like i've been kind of feeling all week it is very much acura's undercover boss you don't have to get the type s and be all in your face with an suv you can still have all the luxuries that you want a little bit of the performance without being so flashy uh, and that's kind of what this car is it's a little bit on the boring side exterior exterior wise so that way you know you're kind of undercover if you get what i mean but we also do have a little bit of performance as well where you know i can change my drive modes makes a cool noise gives you a cool little animation when I do it and I could just press the pedal a little bit lots of lag but then it gets going so you know and it's a really good sounding engine like actually it sounds so good like it's so well tuned I hope that's not pumped in audio because if it is that would suck but it sounds like it's coming from the actual engine itself and if that's the case that's one of the best tuned engines I've heard in an SUV like listen like once the boost kicks in, it's it's very fast and it's actually very, very, wow, like it's surprising how nice it sounds. I don't think it sounds like that from the outside. The handling is also pretty good, even in like sport mode, individual mode, whatever you want. Um, you know, there's a lot of body roll. Like when you have a full car of passengers, you're gonna notice a lot of the passengers moving around because it is a big car. We're, we're a large wheelbase here. We're gonna have body roll just by default. It's kind of hard to avoid it in a car like this. It's not really a big thing because it's 
meant to people hull. I don't know, maybe the A-spec stuff, the little bit faster stuff, maybe it has a more tuned suspension that would actually eliminate some of the body roll and tuck that in a little bit. But in this case, uh, you're gonna get a lot of it that I don't think you really care about that if you're in the market for it. Like, I don't know if you can hear this, but the turn signals are really, really loud <laughs> inside here. They're like one of the loudest. You're never gonna forget that you have your turn signal enabled because it is just loud. It just knocks the whole time. But overall this week, it's just been super comfortable to like drive around in. It handles like the bumps really well. The all wheel drive system is really good too. Of course, this one does come in all wheel drive. I don't know if there's any that don't come in all wheel drive, but yeah, it's been really good. I feel like it would handle the winter, no problem. Any type of weather I threw at it, it would handle that, no problem. So like, see, I just hit a big speed bump right there. Didn't really feel it too much. It's definitely a little bit more of like a firmer, suspension that I felt in a luxury three row but it is still really good even like you know I'm, I'm hitting bumps constantly and usually you know my head would shake around my body would bounce a bit but it's doing a really good job at muting all of those so I like that too I like the digital gauge cluster that it's like you know it's just clean and refined and I can see exactly all the information I want nothing nothing more nothing less that's okay though so yeah it's just been it's just been enjoyable like the seats are really comfortable right now they hold you well you can you can really adjust them to the way that you need them, which is important, I think. You know, you don't have to, it's, it's all power adjustable. It holds you very well, like, the, you know. So when you are going fast, if you wanna go fast, then, you know, you're gonna have a very comfortable time. Road trips would be absolutely no problem. Fuel economy, though, I'm around the 14.8, which is high. It's high, but I am I am driving a three row. Maybe I'm not taking it so easy. So, you know, I would take, I would take my fuel economies with almost a grain of salt, because it's hard me to really give an accurate but i like to mention it just in case you know you do drive like me i drive this car to work and every and every day and stuff like that so now as you can see i'm going over some really bumpy terrain i don't know if you can you probably hear it more than you can actually see it because the car is doing a very nice job at balancing everything especially the driver maybe not so much the passengers the driver i feel very very balanced now i'm going to go on smooth road and nice the, the, the noise isolation is good in here as well. You don't hear a lot of the exterior noises other than when you absolutely floor the engine, which I can't do because I'm in a little bit of traffic now, but you know, it is nice to be able to have the power when you need it. So that's great. But yeah, I think that about covers everything. I've showed you the speed, I've showed you the infotainment, I've showed you exterior, interior, backseat, everything that I could possibly show you for the Acura MBX. It really just is a solid three row but it is very, very expensive. It is, you know, $70,000. You're gonna have to dish that out, whereas maybe some of the other competition, Hyundai, Kia are offering the same kind of things, but cheaper, but maybe Acura is a little bit more tuned and the suspension is a bit better than those guys. So it's like, it's really gonna be preference. And I suggest, I highly suggest that you test drive all of them just to see which one you like because it's all going to come down to preference at the end of the day and also it's all going to come down to budget but if you have seventy thousand dollars in your budget you've driven acura before you liked it then i'm sure you're going to like it now this is my first ever acura that i've been able to drive so you know already it's it's a great first impression it's a great starting point i can't wait to see what they have kind of with the sedan stuff uh, that would be really cool to check out eventually. Hopefully I'll get my hands on it, you know, sometime this winter or, you know, even in the spring with the sedan stuff. But I know they do have more SUVs coming, so I'd like to check those out as well. Let me know which ones you guys want to see. But so far, Acura has made a great first impression. It's, you know, again, like I said, it's going to come down to your preference and what you really want. And also budget is going to play a huge role in whether or not you get them. But the good news is, is that I see them literally everywhere on the road. It, either the RDX or the MDX or both at the same time, all the time, almost every drive. So you know that they're selling well. So that's also really good news. But with that, I think I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you thought in the comments of the Acura MDX. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want do you want to buy one? Are you even in the market for one? Do you hate Acura completely or do you love Acura? I want to know everything that is on your mind when you watch this video. So please leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe so I can get more opportunities, get more vehicles like this. The more subscribers I have, the more special vehicles that I could bring to you guys. And that's really what is going to do it. So with that being said, I will go ahead and get out of here. I'll see you the next week. See you in the next car. Take care.